Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad tablet which is running Google Android 4.0 and is based on the CyanogenMod 9 nightly release. Uh, there were some unofficial nightlies available up until uh, recently, and they may still be available, but now there's also an official release, and if you go into the settings here and go to About, we'll show you that we're running a version of CyanogenMod that was built on March 27th, and uh, that is the date that I'm filming this. So it's a nightly release uh, available for download directly from the Sign and Genod website. This is the first nightly. There should be new ones pretty much every night. And for the most part, you're not going to notice a lot of differences between the nightlies at this point and the um, uh, latest alpha. Uh, most of the things that were working before are still working. That includes hardware accelerated video, so the Netflix application works, and uh, YouTube high definition video works as well. But it also means that uh, things that weren't working are still not working. Uh, so for instance, the camera and microphone applications, well, uh, uh, hardware just aren't supported yet. And uh, you may have some problems with the uh, wireless as well. So um, I've noticed that uh, consistently in the latest builds that I've tried, while I didn't have problems with earlier versions of CyanogenMod, um, now I can connect to the internet when I boot the tablet, but if I let it fall asleep, uh, or you know the screen basically turns off and then try to turn it back on after a little while, I can't connect to the internet anymore, so I need to reboot the tablet. So it's, uh, it's not perfect, but uh, as new fixes are made available, you might be able to find them in the latest nightly releases. Now one thing that is different here is that there's a new boot animation, so I'll show you that. And at first, it looks a lot like previous Cyanogen mod boots, but now instead of the uh, Google Nexus, we get the uh, Cyanogen mod logo here. It looks a lot like uh, Cyanogen mod 7 at first, and then kind of goes a little bit crazy. Now, this is the boot logo that's available in the latest nightlies, and it's uh, basically the new default boot logo for. Uh, all devices that run signage and mod. And you can see it boots relatively quickly, and uh, we're back into Android 4.0. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and just a quick look at uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 based on the nightly releases. You can find instructions for installing this from scratch if you are starting with a device that has WebOS instead of Android. Um, and you can find instructions for that at lilliputing.com and you can find instructions for upgrading from a previous build also at lilliputing.com uh, all you basically have to do is download the latest nightly that you want to try out and then reboot into recovery and use signage and, or use clockwork mod recovery to uh, install an update from zip um, now bear in mind these nightly releases they include all the latest bug fixes but they also might introduce new bugs they are uh, experimental builds and they're not necessarily for everybody but if you're running android on your hp touchpad it's already unsupported software there's not that much risk especially if you use clockwork mod to back up everything before you get started because they can always restore from a previous backup so again Cyanogen Mod 9 nightly release. This is based on the uh, March 27th build, um, but there should be new builds every night. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.